Good day everybody, this is your host Ali Rathav from TechRath with another problem fix for Unity development for the beginners. Now there's a problem mostly when you start developing a game in 3D game in Unity is that your player or your object starts falling down <coughs> either on one axis or the other. So I'm just going to give you an example of a capsule and that's going to be our player and I'm just going to give it a color with material I'm going to make a platform to give you an example of what I'm talking about I'm going to scale it to 5 bring it to minus 2 and the player to 1 uh, let's make it 0 so sometimes what happens is I'm just going to give you an example what are you guys going to do? okay so what happens is when your player is standing, it has a capsule collider, right? So it either falls down on one location like this, or it falls down like this. So if it's not standing straight, there's a very, very simple solution to it. And that is, you need to add a rigid body to your player. If you're using character controller, that's fine as well. You can add rigid body with the character controller. And for example, if uh, in our example, we're not using character controller. If you're using character controller and you're using gravity with character controller, then uncheck this one. But for our case, we're just using rigid body. We'll check the use gravity. Now you need to, you might have this one minimize constraints, open it up. And this is where the magic happens. So you need to check the rotation. Now, if your player is not rotating on any axis, it's just going in one direction and you don't want the player to rotate on any axis just check all three what's this going to do is it's going to stop your player from going either falling down on Z axis Y axis or the the X axis right so the player will not fall down now with the freeze position is if your player is moving sometimes in endless games the platform moves but the player stays the same so you check the freeze position and then you check the Z axis as well. We don't check the Y axis because if you want your player to fall down, then you uncheck the Y axis. Otherwise, um, if you, you have a same animation on the platform and it doesn't have to do anything with gravity, you can just leave the gravity and check Y axis. I hope this helps for your player's rotation. And if your player falls down, if you don't have this, for example, if we don't have any freeze and we have gravity and we make it 50 I'm just gonna change the mass and I'm gonna play you'll see after a few seconds the player will either fall forward or at a specific position and slowly slowly the axis will make sure that the player maybe falls down like this right and if you roll it I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna roll it like this so the player falls down and goes so that's the difference if you freeze the rotation it won't fall down and it's going to be absolutely spot on I hope this helps. This is normally for beginners who are starting out for 3D games. And if you have like an endless runner like this, or an isometric game, or a flat, flat, uh, one sided 3D game, this is how you fix the rotation of your player so the character does not fall down or rotates and falls down while standing or if, even if he is moving, right? So this can happen with different objects like if you call after collision. Uh, it, go, it goes crazy and uh, so that's how we control it sometimes it just goes crazy like this so you you freeze the rotation of that player through rigid body and let me know if this helps you and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the bell icon and like the video and keep following for more small videos for issues resolving unity so we'll be coming up with different series of small bugs or maybe small issues with Unity that can help you in your game and gaming projects. 
Um, you can manipulate it or use it in your code or you can use it in your project. So this is a game which we're developing and we come up with these small issues that uh, are very hard to find and apparently no one has specifically answered those ones. So that's why we've just started this series to point out specific problems and giving you guys the solution. So this is your host Ali Rathor from TechRed. Hope this helps you and good luck for your project. See you guys later. Bye-bye.